ஹலோ ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் பேக் ஒன்ஸ் அகைன் டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் ஒன் ஆஃப் த ஈஸியஸ்ட் சாப்டர் விச் இஸ் தேர் இன் யுவர் சிலபஸ் தட் இஸ் சாப்டர் நம்பர் த்ரீ கிளாசிஃபிகேஷன் ஆஃப் எலமெண்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் பீரியோடிசிட்டி இன் ப்ராப்பர்ட்டிஸ் ஃபஸ்ட் ஆஃப் ஆல் லெட்டர்ஸ் லுக் இன் டூ வை டூ வி நீட் டு கிளாசிஃபை எலமெண்ட்ஸ் பிஃபோர் எயிட்டீன்த் சென்ச்சுரி ஓன்லி ஏ ஃபியூ எலமெண்ட்ஸ் வேர் நோன் and it was easy to study and remember the properties of elements when they were very few the elements are the basic units of all types of matter in 1800 only 31 elements were known and in 1865 the number of identified elements are 63 With passing of time, the number gradually increased and became very large. At present, 118 elements are known and the process of discovering new elements is not yet over. It is difficult to study individually the chemistry of all these elements and their innumerable compounds individually. Thus, to ease out this problem scientists classified the elements now first of all let us discuss about origin of periodic classification ever since dalton gave the atomic theory scientists were busy to know more details about the elements although lavoisier classified the elements into metals and non metals but this was rather vague some noteworthy atoms in this field are briefly discussed only from historical point of view first we have johann dobernier in 1829 noted a similarity among the physical and chemical properties of several groups of three elements which are called triads as you have studied in 10th uh, standard a triad consists of three elements isn't it the middle element of each of the triad had the atomic weight about halfway between the atomic weights of the other elements let us simply say that uh, the average of first and the last element we get the atomic mass of the middle element you can see here uh, there are three triads given lithium sodium potassium one triad calcium strontium barium another triad chlorine bromine iodine is another triad isn't it the properties of the middle elements are in between other two elements this is called law of triads okay children what is a triad triad consists of three elements and the atomic masses of first and the last one and if you take the average of these two you get the atomic mass of middle element next we shall discuss about law of octaves john alexander newlands in 1865 arranged the elements in increasing order of their atomic weights and that every eighth element had properties similar to the first element this is known as law of octaves here in the table you can see children lithium beryllium boron carbon nitrogen oxygen fluorine after that sodium comes under lithium isn't it that is the eighth element okay and under beryllium magnesium comes so what we can infer from here is uh, lithium sodium potassium these which are coming uh, uh, after uh, a uh, period of time that is actually uh, we classify under octaves okay so the eighth element uh, has the uh, similar physical and chemical properties of the first element right now uh, it is like a musical chair as we have discussed now here you see lithium resembles uh, uh, like sodium beryllium resembles like uh, magnesium boron resembles uh, aluminium carbon resembles uh, uh, silicon nitrogen is similar to phosphorus oxygen uh, is similar to sulfur and fluorine is uh, 
having similar properties of chlorine so this is how newland explained in his octaves later dimitri mendeleev arranged elements in horizontal rows and vertical columns of a table in order of their increasing atomic weights in such a way that elements with similar properties occupied the same vertical column or group so uh, mendeleev was the first scientist to introduce a uh, uh, groups and column method according to mendeleev's periodic law the properties of elements are a periodic function of their atomic mass the main essence of mendeleev's periodic table is he arranged the elements according to the increasing order of atomic weights okay as you see in the uh, figure there you can identify that uh, the elements are uh, arranged in order of increasing atomic weights okay there were so many merits as well as demerits uh, uh, this is mendeleev's periodic table had but uh, uh, compared with the uh, demerits uh, it had a lot of uh, merits to carry out and from mendeleev's periodic table only we have designed our uh, new modern periodic table okay according to modern periodic law the physical and chemical properties of the elements are periodic functions of their atomic numbers so the main difference between a uh, um, modern periodic table and uh, mendeleev's periodic table is that mendeleev's periodic table arranged uh, in increasing order of atomic masses whereas modern periodic table is arranged uh, in accordance with the uh, increasing order of atomic numbers the periodic law states that when elements are arranged in increasing order of atomic number there is a periodic repetition of physical and chemical properties so while arranging the elements in the increasing order of atomic number what happens a periodic repetition means after a regular interval of time the elements which were repeated had a physical and chemical properties almost similar the horizontal rows are called periods and the vertical columns are called groups as you know children in modern periodic table we have seven periods and 18 groups are there isn't it the details about the modern periodic table we will be discussing in the next class thank you and have a nice day